Jordan Poole, class of 2017. Uh, I go to Lalamere Prep, LaPorte, Indiana. Uh, I'm going to University of Michigan next year. Last year and then three years previous to this, I went to Rufus King High School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I was pretty isolated from a lot of stuff. Uh, my school was in a little bit of a, in a bad neighborhood, but other than that, everything was fine. Uh, obviously, it's top five right now on the most homicide list, but um, I don't know, it's 414 till I die, man. I love my city. It was a huge transition uh, coming from, you know I'm saying, a, a pretty big city. Uh, where you know you can go out, go to the mall, um, you know what I'm saying, go to a lot of high school games, to coming into the woods and uh, really just being focused around players and the guys and stuff and being around your coach all the time. It, it was a pretty big transition. I came over here to get prepared for college. That's really all it was. Obviously, we coaches. Uh, Real Life is going to put a really good team together with me, Jaren, Tugs, Jacob, Isaiah, Tiger. Um, so come over here and play with a lot of elite level guys, um, getting better, getting, getting to know new things that are helping me at the next level. And as far as school wise, uh, being able to go to class on my own time and make sure that I'm scheduling everything perfectly, it was just kind of getting a better decision for next year. Two years ago, Playground had a bad season, and they went 1-16 uh, in EYBL, so EYBL took them out for a year, but obviously I've been on the Nike circuit my whole life, and I still wanted to be able to play on such a competitive circuit. So then, uh, Mac Irvin was the next closest team in the area, and they produced a lot of All-Americans, so I just, I figured I would go and play for Mac Irvin. Obviously, being a rivalry, nobody thought I would do it, but Julius Peppers went to the Packers and he was with the Bears, and a lot of stuff happened. A lot of things that I learned from, from Mac Irvin is just confidence. Uh, everything, obviously you got a lot of players down in Chicago who, a lot of ballers, uh, but just having confidence in your game is just, it pushes you to the next level. Um, obviously people are gonna push you and test you, knowing that you're from Chicago and knowing that you're from Milwaukee, people are gonna come after you, but other than that, people really get after it and it, it helps us a lot. So learning from them is just, it was, it was great. Energy, energy, let's go. Fight on three. One, two, three, five. Right. Let's go, Ever since I was little, my dad had the, the playground team, and then when we went to my sophomore year, uh, when we went to the sophomore year, um, there was the EYBL team. But they got a lot of teams, and um, one of the tournaments in EYBL. Go great. Ah. Jared, come here, come here, Jared. Get here real quick, get here real quick, bro. What's up, A? Eh? This is my man right here, bro. What's up? That's my, this is my What's son happening? right here. That's my son right here. What's that, in the gym? In the gym, home, baby? Now y'all, ah. No you gotta go. Needed. You gotta go. There's no talking needed. What's up, hey. then? A bunch of dubs coming soon. Do the handshake. Do the handshake. You gotta do the handshake. You gotta do the handshake. You gotta do the handshake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, but nah, we had a lot of teams, and then uh, obviously everybody is a close knit uh, like family over there on playground. So when uh, my dad team wasn't in NY too late, I went to play with like a close friend, kind of like my uncle's team. So that's why I played there. And then uh, for the summer of July, I just wanted to play the last. Two tournaments, three tournaments with my dad. Obviously, everything that we had been through, uh, starting from when I was little, I just felt like that was kind of the right way to go out. People don't, they don't, I don't think they realize, but winning that tournament was more than anything because I, I've been playing there since I was four, four, not four, but fourth grade. Um, and then so just being in constant tournaments, constant tournaments, getting to the championship, getting to the final four and losing. And then that's kind of like walking into the tournament, that was just my goal, my determination was to make sure that I go out with a bang. Obviously in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, playing there my entire life. I had to win the championship. So it just, I feel like that was the right way to go out as well. Check out to the camera, point to the camera, did the thing out here, man. Give me something to play First round, first round, I need you guys to meet. When I first met Jaren, when I first saw him, it was a uh, Mac Irvin versus Indy Spies. Um, at I think it was a Indy Spies tournament. But I, I saw him and I was like, who is this guy, you know what I'm saying? 
and then uh, when I realized he was coming to La Lu, I really didn't know anything about him. Jordan, you know, we he was my he was my roommate coming in. Uh, He's going, he's going to Michigan, which is funny. See, he's going to Michigan State, so when he committed, and it was, it was just it was just crazy. It broke my heart, obviously, that Michigan was uh, obviously one of his finalists, but. That always, you know, makes us laugh in the room. And we have two banners, one Michigan, one Michigan State. And, you know, he's been a great friend to me. But ever since we became roommates, uh, I think we probably had a tightest bond more than anybody on the team. Uh, we talk to each other every day. Uh, we got super close conversations. We, being able to meet somebody like that, and, those are just relationships that I'm going to have for the rest of my life, so that's my homie. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Shout out Energy. Shout out Energy. Welcome man. to the loop, man. Welcome to the loop, man. Welcome to the loop, boy. Well, we played, <laughs> Mac Irvin played, and I think it was session four in Atlanta. We played against Mean Streets, and we played Brian's team. So uh, Coach Shane was coming out to look for a two guard. And Obviously watching him with the fire and, and having a big need at that, at that position. Uh, for him to be able to come here and, and the role he has has been tremendous. Uh, he was looking and he happened to see me as we were playing Brian. Um, you know me, I was just talking uh, occasional stuff that I always talk and uh, after that, that same day, I lead the game and my coach resigns and uh, as he resigns, I was talking to him because I knew he was going to do it. Coach Shane hits me up so it was a crazy coincidence and uh, he texted me on Twitter and kind of got the ball rolling and went on a visit and loved it after that. Um, you know, obviously he's a kid that can, can start pretty much anywhere in the country and he, he probably should be starting for us, but, but to, for him to accept that role um, for us coming off the bench is an incredible testament to, to his character uh, and his belief and buy into this team. Coach Shane, that's, that's my man. Uh, we went through a lot since, uh, well, obviously uh, since I've been here, uh, it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on, but uh, I don't think I've played for a coach that loves me more than him. Uh, he always wants the confidence and he gave me the green light, which boosted up my confidence a lot. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just being able to, to play as hard as I can. He, all, he always trying to outshoot me and everything. Uh, he really, he can't shoot. Coach, Coach, Coach Shane, can you shoot? Show, uh, put, let me get a shot on Kale. He can't shoot. He cannot shoot. Show me something. Show me something. Nah. <laughs> that's, that's fake. That's an accident. No, but. <laughs> No, but uh, being able to play for somebody like him is uh, it's giving me great confidence. Obviously, he played at the, the D1 level, and he knows what it takes for me to be great and uh, make a, a huge um, impact right away when I get to the next level. So uh, being able to play under somebody like him, and he's still young, so he has the connection of a teenager. It's, it's just great. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask for any better coach my senior year. It was a huge adjustment. I'm still adjusting. Uh, I go home every once in a while to see my friends, see my family, but um, not being able to see my parents and have a physical connection every day, it was a little bit of adjustment. But having the guys that I have around me, Coach Shane and Coach Pat and Coach Nino, Marv, everybody, they just they make me feel as, as much as home as possible. If I need anything, I can come to them, I can talk to them. Um, but I mean, it's still a huge transition, like I said, coming from a big city where uh, I've been there for 16, 17 years. And then I come out here for my senior year, and uh, it's just, it was just different. Uh, I never planned on actually leaving, but when I left it, I mean, it's kind of like a transition, and it, I know it helped me and will help me in, a, in the long run. That was, that was crazy. Uh, last year, thinking that I would I would play on ESPN didn't even cross my mind. So we go we play on ESPN and uh, playing the, the world's largest high school gym is just it was ridiculous. You look and you look and it was just crazy. You got people everywhere and obviously playing on ESPN and just the the scene it was just it was amazing. I, I don't even know how else to describe it. I wouldn't even call it a loss. I feel like we're more learning because um, I'd rather we have that happen earlier in the year than we do at Dick. So uh, by that getting that loss under our belt, um, it just it kind of knocks everything behind us. And now we know what to do uh, and what not to do and how to fight through adversity to come through the win. So.
and the final seconds tick away. La Lumiere has wiped away its heartbreak from a year ago. The Lakers win their first Dicks National Championship. Jim Hoop, man, grinding. Shout out to Lalu, look for us. Natty coming, man. Hard work, bro. Shout out. Break a lot of shooting records at University of Michigan. Win national championship this year. Um, I don't know. I might get back to you on that one. I got a pink. State's not ready for you. They're not at all. They're not at all. That's sick. Working. They're not ready. 53 got me right. Got me right. Check the socks. You see these exclusive, dude. These exclusive, dude. I'm working. 